Hi, Michael. Hi, Mrs. Chua. Okay, I understand your problem with this question, right? Yes. We are going to read through the question, and as we do so, try to understand the whole problem. Okay, let's start. This year, Alice's age is three quarters of Diego's age. Diego will be 37 years old in five years' time. How old was Alice when she was three years younger than two thirds of Diego's age? Okay, now let's focus sentence by sentence. This year, Alice's age is three quarters of Diego's age. Okay, now I'll give you this tip. Most age-related questions require one very important piece of information, and that is the age difference. Are we able to extract some information to find the age difference? Yes. Okay, what's that? Uh, Alice's age is three quarter of Diego's age. Okay, great. So, how if you're going to draw a model, how many units? To represent Alice's age? Alice's age will be 3 units and Diego, Diego's age will be 4 units. Very good. So we're going to draw a model based on this piece of information first and see how far it will take us to find the age difference. Okay, let's go. Okay, you're going to use 3 units to represent Alice's age. So we're going to draw 3 units and we try to be as neat as possible. Okay. Three units. This is one, two, and three. So this is Alice's age. Now for Diego, that will be four units. Now I'm going to align the model representing Diego's age to the right. Most of the time, you know, you would draw it aligning to the left. I'll explain to you later. Let's draw the four units first. Okay. This is one unit, two, three, and four. And this, I'm going to use D to represent Dago. Now, let's go to the next sentence. It says, Dago will be... Maybe 37 I use, years uh, old. Yes, 37 years old. So, this is the sentence you're looking at. In how many years' time? Five years' time. Yes, five years' time. Okay, so we are going to reflect that in the model. Since it is five years time, that means we add on five years. So I'm going to use a different color to add on five years to Diego's age. And let's use um, maybe the blue pen. Excuse me. Let's use the blue pen to, represent, to indicate five years here. Now I've done or added five years to Diego's age. What should be done to Alice's age? Also add five. Good. We're going to add also five years to Alice's age. Okay, let's include that. Five years. And use a pen to write it down. Five years. Okay. All right. What is there another piece of information that I've left out that I should put in the model? Uh, 37 years well, Yes, people. this piece of information I've left it out uh, So I should include it in the model Right And this is 37 Now where is the age difference? Here Yes Okay, let me write it for you Age difference, alright Age difference It is from here to here, which is one unit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, looking at the model that was just drawn, are we able to find the value of one unit? Yes. Okay, how do you do that? Can you write it here? Okay. Good. We find four units first. And this is equal to? 
32. Good. So now that you found four units, how do you find one unit? This is equal to? Yes. And the answer is? Eight. Good. That means this unit here is? Eight. Good. Now that I've found the age difference, you are ready to answer the question. Okay? The question asks for Alice's age when she was three years younger than two-thirds of Diego's age. So we need to draw a separate model different from this first one because this is a different scenario. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's draw the model the other side. So have more room. So how many units would represent um, Diego, Diego's age? Three units. Three units. Okay, so we are going to draw three units to represent Diego's age here. Okay, so this is one, and then two and three. And this represents Diego's age. Okay. So how about Alice? Alice is three years younger than two parts, right? Okay. So you're going to have two units over here. Let's draw two units. Okay, two units. And we want to represent this as Alice's age. Okay. Now, is Alice's age... Two units? No. It's three years younger. So we have to reflect that in the model. So let's chop off three years. Okay, I'm going to use a different color so that we can see it clearer. Go and chop off three years here. And let's indicate the three years. Good. So can you... Show me or where Alice's age is, which is the correct age in the model. Can you draw? Yes. So that will be the question mark, right? What we're going to find. Okay. So let's have the question mark here. Okay. Now, earlier on, we found the age difference of the two of them. Where should we reflect that eight years? Can you draw it in a model? Eight years. The age difference between, between the two of them. And can you write down eight? Great. Right? Okay. So, how are we going to find Alice's age? What information can help us find it? Okay, you take 8 minus 3, yes, that gives you 5. So, okay, just, yeah, so 8 minus 3 is this. Okay, good. So, we have found this, right? 8 minus 3 is this. What is this? This is 1 unit. Okay, good. Now, carry on. Alice's age is what? Two units minus the three, right? Okay, go. Good. Great. So how old was Alice? When she was three years younger than two-thirds of Diego's age? Seven years old. Yes. So, in future, when you do age-related questions, the good tip would be to find the age difference. So, we'll do that next time. That will help you a lot. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Nice having you. Bye. Bye.